Hey guys, my camera cut out on me in the last video, so I had to wait to recharge and I'm back. So I left off last time and I was discussing Yannicka's question about what to expect, which I was actually looking at her next question, which was, should I totally forget about the scale? So since those two kind of go together, I will try to address both of those at the same time. Um, last time I think I was discussing how the clothing will fit differently. Um, expect the bloating, expect the um, shirts and jeans fitting a little bit tighter than usual. Um, if you know that ahead of time and you have clothes that are cute but fit, then that, that's really going to be your best bet because you, as long as you still feel confident, then you'll be able to push through. Uh, am I saying this is going to be like the most miserable journey of your life? No, it's actually a very empowering journey and I love bulking. So despite how horrid I may make it sound, uh, I'm just trying to be as real as possible because um, a lot of people, um, you know, they try to jump in real quick and they don't really know what to expect and then they think that things are going wrong when they're, it's actually not. Things are going pretty well. So that's why I, you know, have my scare tactics of telling you, you know, what to expect because I just want you to know up front and if you know, then you can kind of ride those things out. Uh, there's also good things to look for. You are going to find that you have tons more strength in the weight room. Trying to lift uh, heavy when you're at a deficit, um, even when you think you're having a good strong day, you have no idea. When you are bulking, your strength is off the charts. You just have so much more energy and like I say, you have room for those extra carbs and so you are plowing through that. I mean, you <laughs> you feel beast <laughs> when you are bulking and you have the energy to actually get through those workouts. Um, you know, you have some days where you feel really, really great and then you have other days where it's just kind of like, you know, you may feel a little weighed down. It's just from, your body's just adjusting to the carbs. So that's the reason why I said that the stomach is one of the first uh, areas that you'll see it because the digestion process, you know, you're, you're suddenly taking in a little bit more food. So, you know, your body has to get used to digesting it. So you will kind of feel that digestion going on sometimes, you know, and you'll... You know, every once in a while, some days you may have like, it may seem like you have a little pudge and then other days you'll be fine. So it's not like you're walking around all the time looking like you're pregnant, but you know, you're not necessarily like beach ready at any moment. Um, and you don't bulk all the time. So, I mean, that's what this is. You do this at a schedule that's best for you. For me, um, when I live in the Southeast part of Virginia, it's, this is where, you know, the weather starts winding down. It's still fairly nice out right now. Um, but it's not hot. Um, but it's starting to cool down. So you, that's why typically in November, that's when I'll start raising my calories. Because it's, you know, it's more convenient for me. And I can wear more layers. And, you know, the winter layers kind of equal bulking to me because that's the time where I can hide it and still look cute. So you have that. Um, you have the energy levels that will kind of be all over the place. The weight fluctuations that come with that scale can be off the charts. So you can't base it on say a weekly basis. So even though I give the example of that I shoot for no less than 0.5 pounds per week or no more than 0.5 pounds per week um, I look at it on probably more of a monthly basis I weigh in at a time of probably the month where I'm most likely to have a more factual weigh in um, weighing in at, at that time of the month is pointless uh, weighing in after a huge leg day is pointless. Weighing in after uh, any lifting heavy day is pointless because it's all it's going to show on the scale. So it's no different 
when you're bulking then you know when you experience those things whether you're maintaining or cutting uh, there's going to be some bottle fluctuations one day it may say you gain 10 pounds and then you know it may go back down to maybe like two to three so you're looking at your overall you know it's not going to be a very linear type of success ratio so if you put on five pounds the first week you're not going to scratch it and be like oh no it's not it's not working i've already gained five pounds because it's not real for lack of a better word um you're going to have to ride it out some of those times if you know that you're not eating enough to gain that much then you have you have to trust the process and ride it out if certain foods are causing you to bloat more than others then you can adjust along the way but the scale is not necessarily going to be your best friend it will be one of the tools that you can use just as you are during any other parts of your journey you'll be able to measure and take pictures and things like that um, you should notice muscle actually building depending on how long your bulk is um, nothing's going to be like super drastic but you'll be able to notice the muscle pump in the area that you work. That part will be kind of puffy. Um, you will, do you need to forget the scale altogether? Like toss it, throw it out, that, that's up to you. Um, if you wanna just go based on how your clothes feel, that's, that's fine too, you know, and the changes that you see going on in the mirror, that's fine. Uh, my scale is, you know, it's like bathroom decoration because I use it, but I really take what it says with a grain of salt because my weight, height, muscle ratio, none of it even makes sense, you know? Even the amounts that I gain on my bulk sometimes don't make sense. But as long as I still like the changes that I see when I take pictures or, you know, that my husband likes the changes, then I'm going to keep going. So it's really, really important to take pictures at the beginning of the process and maybe every four or six weeks because... You know you're going to be going through so many different changes that the scale may not be that accurate you can use it if you like just to kind of get an idea of what affects what on your scale uh, but don't let it be the be all end all don't allow the scale to make you head for the hills too soon because you will do yourself a great disservice the longer that you can stick it out the better so yes, expect the scale fluctuations, expect to have days where you feel bigger and days where you feel nice and tight, um, expect muscle pump in the muscles that you previously worked, expect leg days to um, be days that you need to wear bigger jeans or skirt, um, <laughs> expect um, even sometimes if you're really really building out your lats sometimes your shirts or jackets can feel a little bit tight i go through that because i really really focused on my back especially last bulk where the the width of my back affected how a lot of my um cardigan sweaters and jackets would even fit uh not necessarily in a bad way because it's not that i looked bigger it's just that the areas that i was working just kind of you know or like this time i really want to focus on my shoulders and my legs so i'm expecting to possibly have you know a little bit of extra muscle pump in the shoulders and so sometimes shirts may be tight across the shoulder area or um maybe across the lat area where it may feel like it's pulling a little bit so i'll need looser shirts for those days um, I think that's it <laughs> uh, I'm sure there'll probably be more questions or I may think of something after I uh, finish this video but those are the main things to expect as far as the scale and as far as how your clothes fit and your mental capacity <laughs> so I hope that helps you to be better prepared Yannicka and <laughs> I think I've gotten all your questions but I'm gonna look through them again because I remember you have quite a bit and there's probably about 20 more so I don't even know if all these videos are even possible for me to put up at once but um I'm trying guys I, I want you guys to be as prepared as you can so bye <laughs>